Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my final Beatlethon episode, this time revealing Yellow Submarine, released in 1968. Unlike your other Beatles movies that I've reviewed, this one is an animated feature. However, there is a live action bit at the end. Despite what many people would think when going into this movie, the Beatles don't actually star as themselves as their voices. They're different voice actors starring as the Beatles because According to some research that I've done, the Beals were touring India, and while they couldn't really get out of their contract, they had voice actors do their voices instead. So anyway, the whole movie is mind screwed. The Beals get into like a yellow submarine because it actually starts out with Pepperland, a magical world underneath the supposed ocean, being attacked by these blue meanies. And the Beals are requested to come help old Fred. There are some other parts of the movie I do remember that are pretty weird like the heads, the headlands, the holes. And the most significant part of the whole movie was Jeremy Hillary Boob PhD. He's fantastic. I felt sorry for him when the Beatles seemingly abandoned him until Ringo came out to help. The song that's played is called Nowhere Man. So anyway, the rest of the movie is Jeremy joining the Beatles to help. Well, I can't really spoil the movie for those who haven't really seen it. But if you know what happens, you know what happens. So, yeah. Yeah. Also, as a part of my research, some of the animators, or at least probably all of them, I'm not even sure, also worked on 2001 A Space Odyssey, directed by Stanley Kubrick. What they did on that movie was just a bunch of black blobs to paint some of the backgrounds, I think. And they only worked on Nelson Marine next because they were getting tired of just painting black. Kind of funny when you think about it. Now moving on to another subject which is similar to what I just talked about. The 2012 remake made for the 2012 Olympics taking place in the UK. Directed by Robert Zemeckis. This never came out to be because of several reasons. I'm sure you could look it up. I'll go into, into some of them. One, Robert Zemeckis did not really want to do Yellow Submarine because he felt it would piss off a lot of Beatles fans. Actually, the latter could count as number two, however, according to some people, probably a lot of fans, they really wanted to see it and it probably hurt a lot of fans, and we can see why. I mean, seriously, this would have been amazing to see. Look at it. Newer and bluer meters have been sighted in the vicinity of this theater. Well, I can't show the full clip. You can go look it up on your own. The Beals movie also had other elements, I mean this remake, that would have not made it so successful in the first place, I think. There were some other elements of the original that were tame compared to the remake that would have been much more terrifying. Like the um, monster that sucks up the um, Beals in the Sea of Monsters sequence. And that monster to remake turns out to be much more terrifying than the one in the original, design-wise. No wonder why it was cancelled in some way. Some of the other designs were pretty freaky too, and I can't really go into them because I want to make this review just like the other one, short. I'm not even sure if I can make this short because of how much I'm recording. But anyway, this movie is like the best one in my opinion because it's completely different from the rest of the ones that I've reviewed. If you like the Beatles in Total Mind Screw, you should get into this one. Probably first, I'm not even sure. Or if you want to get your kids into like the Beatles, if if you're um, uh, if you truly think animation is for kids, which it is not just for kids, honestly. I wish I could go into that, but I really can't for this video. It's mainly about the Beatles. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the Beatlethon, and I hope next time we can make more videos about other things. Anyway, see you all, and have a great rest of your day and night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Everybody. Everywhere. Good night.